Yes, and this is the way I look upon this, that it's not about saving human lives or saving the economy, because the economy is human lives. Because we know that Great Depressions take a terrible human toll in several ways. The immediate effects of unemployment, of enforced lockdowns with the kind of mental problems, with the uh, domestic abuse that we're seeing, but also in the long run, obviously. Less wealth means that we invest less in new medical technology, in drugs, less spending on healthcare in the long run, and then we'll suffer more in the long run than we would have otherwise. And my personal opinion is that that's, that's it, basically, a kind of precautionary principle rationally understood, because we don't know how to deal with the disease, not just you and I, since we don't have that kind of scientific background, but even the experts are, have a diversity of opinion. So we don't know if the Swedish version or the US version is going to be better in the long run. But what we do know is that lockdowns take a terrible toll on human liberties, on human lives, and on wealth in the long run. So a precautionary principle, rationally understood, would say, try to be cautious now. Don't engage in this terrible experiment that it really is to close down the world to the extent that we've done now.